Welcome to the Spring 2020 New Music Ensemble Concert, done for the first time ever as a live stream on YouTube. And I'd like to welcome you all. And we're very excited about this performance tonight. As you know, we've all been in lockdown and quarantine. And so we embraced that opportunity as a challenge. And we were very excited that we were going to uniquely be able to, to make the best of it. As composers, we're very flexible and we're good problem solvers. So this was our solution. And so uh, just a quick, um, a quick shout out to our broadcast engineer, Wynn. And he's also a co-producer and he's organized all this for us. So we'll be thanking him throughout the concert tonight. But the way New Music Ensemble works is each student is a, usually a composer or performer. In this case, we're all composers. And they've each come up with a unique composition. Earlier in the semester, we had been collaborating with the theater department to do incidental music for their, for their um, production. And we had written together 13 vignettes to go along with the theater students' production. And of course, that came to a, a screeching halt. But we were already working on our own compositions. And that's what will be featured on the program tonight. So we have two types of pieces. We have pieces where the students have programmed synthesizers and developed hardware and other software solutions to control those synthesizers. We'll be seeing several of those tonight. And we also have traditional, what we call conventional pieces that are written for acoustic instruments. And for those, we, since we can't perform those live with the public audience, we are doing them a special way with a score following score sync version. So, the first composition we'll hear tonight is by Reed Wilson. It's called Levant, Behold the Warmth of the Sun. And what you'll see is the score um, being followed as you hear the music. So let's please welcome our first performer, uh, Reed Wilson.
Okay, thank you, Reed, for that composition. Levant, Behold the Warmth of the Sun. And now we're going to switch over to the other style of composition. Um, this next composition is by Eric Lyons, who's a versatile multi-instrumentalist and composer. He writes a lot of different styles of music. Um, for this one, he had recently acquired a looper. And so using that piece of hardware, plus a lot of other effects um, from a, a digital audio workstation, he's come up with this really nice piece um, called Unknown, <laughs> not Untitled, which is what what compositions are called when the person can't think of a title. So this one's unknown. So um, I'll turn it over. This will, this will show um, Eric Lyons performing the piece. So this is a live performance. Thank you.
Okay, thank you, Eric, for that beautiful piece. And I think we could see, or we could see, and hopefully those of you watching could see the uh, looper in the background that, that Eric was reaching over to start and stop the loops um, af while he was playing guitar and, and keyboard. So um, Eric had also taken the synthesis class at Colin College. So he has learned how to program synthesizers from scratch. And, and so I'm sure that all these skills that we pick up along the way come, come in handy when we're composing a piece like this. So next up is another real-time interactive piece. That's the fancy word for it, um, but it's completely different um, structure, infrastructure for the piece, um, but it's by Patrick Lucier, and it's called Authentasia. And what Patrick is doing is using a program called BCB Rack. That's a, a virtual version of a modular synthesizer. So you'll see a crazy convoluted um, synthesizer patch up, but then more importantly, Patrick has learned um, a protocol called OSC, Open Sound Control, for, for controlling these synthesizers wire wirelessly using uh, smartphones and tablets. So Patrick is going to be controlling the computer using a virtual audio interface on the iPad. So we'll, we'll see that coming up next, and I'll turn it over to Wynn.
Okay, thank you, Patrick. That was amazing. The nice thing about real-time interactive compositions is that you they're constantly evolving and they're different every single time. It's just one of the appealing things to 20th century composers that you could perform them and every time brings something a little bit different to the table as opposed to a, a fixed media composition like what's happening in the 50s and 60s and 70s. Um, the downside is, is that they're very risky <laughs> and it's, it's always the possibility that the computer crashes or something breaks and, and so they're, they're high risk, they're high stress, even though Patrick made that look easy, he made it that look effortless and it sounded amazing, uh, just know that it's uh, white knuckles <laughs> all the way um, through those things, so he did a fantastic job, so thank you Patrick. Our next composition is by a songwriter, Anna Xiong. She's actually very successful as a songwriter in mainland China, and she's been studying songwriting at Colin for the last year, but she's been interested in moving into traditional composition. And so this first piece, uh, this piece we'll hear on tonight's program, this is her first conventional traditional piece, and it's written for piano and violin and flute. And again, if we were performing live in a, in a concert hall, we would be performing this on real acoustic instruments, um, but there's always a silver lining. And so even though we're performing it pre-recorded, so to speak, we get the opportunity as with Reed's piece um, to follow along with the score and see the, the work she put into the composition as well as, as hear it, obviously. And I love the feature that we're able to comment live during the YouTube live stream so please feel free to comment uh, you would not be allowed to do this if we were performing the concert um, in, a, in, a, in a hall so i'll hand it over to win to start um, anna's piece and it's titled i cry suddenly
Okay, thank you. That was Anna Zhang, I Cry Suddenly, and it's a very lovely piece. And as I said in the live stream comments, I'm really looking forward to hearing that performed. Um, so next up, I think, is that uh, a piece by Daniel Hoover. And like Eric Lyons and Patrick Lussier's, this piece by Daniel Hoover is a real-time interactive piece. But we ran into a little bit of an issue where the CPU load was just too much for the computer to run all of the audio processing and the Zoom. So we're not going to perform this one live. Instead, we're going to use uh, a, a recording of a previous performance. And uh, you'll hear the same sort of dynamic in that there's the aspect of live looping. So instruments will enter one after the other, and they'll be looped, and they will be um, processed heavily. However, like Eric versus Patrick, this is a completely different software environment. Um, Daniel is using Ableton Live. And what's more, um, Daniel also built one of the instruments from scratch. He built a xylophone at the beginning of the semester completely from scratch. It's very impressive. And so that's featured. And I really wish the, the video could have worked so you could see this amazing instrument that he built. So he built the acoustic instrument that he then samples in real time, performing in real time into the computer and process it, processes it using uh, several synthesis and real-time processing algorithms. So I think we're ready. I'll, I'll hand it over to Wynn to start. This piece by Daniel Hoover is entitled Sunrise on the East Coast.
my apologies. I was mute. I muted myself. That was uh, Daniel Hoover. And it was sunrise on the East Coast and very lovely piece. Normally, we have the composers all write uh, program notes for their for their compositions and they can describe the title or if there's a meaning behind the piece or the compositional techniques they were using or the technologies they were trying to explore. In Daniel's case, in addition to the instrument he built and the software programming and, and the compositional um, ideas, he was also exploring some polymetric and polyrhythmic um, ideas. So you might have heard that. So a little bit reminiscent of minimalism, if you're familiar with that, that, that stylistic genre. So up next, we have another Daniel, this time Daniel Haas, and a similar uh, real-time electronic, real-time interactive composition. But you'll notice immediately that Daniel is triggering the samples, the sounds from an electronic drum kit. So he's He's using a different environment for the, the sounds. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, he is also using Ableton Live like Daniel Hoover, but Daniel Haas in this case is triggering those samples in real time um, from an electronic drum kit. And in the right side of your screen, you'll notice a, a bunch of a little controller, maybe eight by eight inches, and it's got a bunch of white buttons. That's a hardware controller that's controlling the, the different sounds and textures and Daniel um, Hawes built that from a DIY kit a year and a half ago or so. So in this case, like Daniel Hoover built the acoustic instrument from scratch, Daniel Hawes built this electronic controller from scratch. So we're all really proud and impressed with what he's done there. So the piece is in, entitled Android Dreams and you'll hear it features the electronic drum kits played live, tricked Green samples in Ableton Live and controlled via a, a custom DIY made controller. I'll hand it over to Wynn to switch us to, to Daniel now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, am I muted? No. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, thank you, that's very impressive. I, I was, loved reading the comments on the live stream. Um, we, we, someone noticed their ears were really good and then they could hear the double pedal that, that Daniel was doing. And, and we agonized so much in a, in a way that we never had to agonize before. We, we had to agonize a lot on camera angles. That's something we never had to worry about in previous semesters for a new music ensemble concert. So finding a camera angle that can do justice to all the aspects of a piece is is uh, really impossible. So in, in this case, it's doubly tricky because we're locked down. So you can't exactly bring a camera crew into your house to film each student with multiple cameras. So so it worked out the best we can do for sure. So thank you, Daniel Hawes, for that. Next, we have our second piece by Reed Wilson. This one, even though it's a conventional traditional piece and you, we will do the score following sync, um, the, the piece itself is very different from the first piece. This piece is, is a solo piano work and uh, I think it's, its personality is very different from the first piece we heard. So I'll hand it over to Wynn. This piece by Reed Wilson is entitled Goodbye for the Road Which Follows. And back over to you, Wynn, thank you.
Okay, thank you, Reed. Yeah, I just, that piece is so different from the first piece, but I love the harmonies and the melodies. So next um, we have Eric Lyons again with a second composition and like Reed's two pieces being very different, this the second piece by Eric is also very different from his first. I think it still is using elements that you, we heard in the first piece, but again, the, the once you build a hybrid instrument like these students have built, using the loopers and the software synthesis and so forth. Um, it's not easy, but it's definitely conceivable to recast it with different sounds. And so that's some, and different motives. And that's what we'll hear next for, for Eric's piece. This piece is entitled Six Feet, 1,000 Miles. And again, by Eric Lyons. And I'll hand it over to Wynn to set up for the live performance by Eric. Thank you, Eric Lyons, for that composition, Six Feet, 1,000 Miles. We all love that piece. Um, so our final composition on the program tonight has a very interesting story. It's not by one composer, it's by the entire group. And what happened um, when the lockdown started, when quarantine started, we were struggling with what we were going to do as an ensemble and when our broadcast engineer slash co-producer for tonight's concert came across a notation program that's in my mind it's kind of like the google docs of notation it's a a notation program where 
people can collaborate and, and in fact, can compose at the same time on the same document. So unlike Google Docs, where you're writing or editing um, a Word document-ish, a text document, we're actually editing the notation in real time. And so it created some unique challenges because it's different <laughs> um, coming up with musical ideas and getting them to work together. But eventually we settled on a harmonic language using chordal quintal harmony. And we also settled on a theme and a little bit of a chord progression. And then I asked each student to go through and just add some measures um, at different places in the piece. So that fully collaborative composition, um, which um, came together really nicely, was taken by Patrick Lussier, polished. He cleaned up some of the notation and made sure the annotations for each student were in there properly. And so as you see the score, and this is done, it's a, a solo piano with a score sync feature, you might see the students' names for the sections that they wrote. So it's a very unique compositional endeavor. I was really proud of everyone. And I think it's a nice closer for this, this concert. It takes us back to the very beginning of the quarantine with how we were being regular composers and just problem solving and figuring out how we were going to to adjust to the, the new normal. So um, we'll play this and then we'll have a, one final goodbyes and thank yous after and, and that'll be our program for the night. So I'll turn it over to Wynn now. So you're going to go to the book shot, shot, the Brady Bunch shot, the feed. Oh, well, he did. So. Hey, thank you, everybody. Oh, God. Thank you for your time. Yes, thank you, everyone. So now you're seeing our Brady Bunch shot of the ensemble. Um, you can see in the upper left-hand corner, Patrick, then I'm in the middle. Eric's in the upper right-hand corner, Daniel, middle left, Anna, uh, Reed in the middle right, thank you, Reed, uh, Daniel Hoover, lower left-hand corner, and the oh. most important <laughs> of all, our broadcast engineer, Gwen Lay, and 
I can't tell you how we, we can not do this without. <laughs> without I made him a sign. This is all he gets. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, Win. <laughs> so, but he made this, he thought through all the technical problems and definitely Patrick and the others um, assisted Win because it's very complicated. And um, I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. Considering the <laughs> complexity, I thought it went really, really well. But we had lots of extra rehearsals um, for this, so so it wasn't easy. Um, and there's Eric Lyons in upper right hand corner. So we we enjoyed this. We love this. It's not ideal in some ways, but we definitely I think the, the class made the best of it, and and we we did something even better than what could have happened um, otherwise. We we definitely saw the silver lining to the clouds here. And so we are, I'm inspired to do it more. So I hope you'll stay in touch and you might be seeing an invite from us again soon for a concert this summer. I haven't mentioned this to any of the students. So they're all a little shocked, <laughs> but I hope we can do it again. And thank you again so much for, for listening and participating. And we will see you next bye. time. I said bye everybody. Bye y'all, thank you for coming. Thank you.